Welcome back to Hanson Sports Card Breaks on today's Saturday Showdown. We have 2019 Topps Archive Trading Cards versus 2019 Topps Baseball Update Series. There are amazing rookies in both these packs, so let's get into this rip. <laughs> Saturday everybody I always look forward to this time of the week and uh, we get to battle two blasters or two hanger boxes or two fat packs whatever we choose to do seems like we've been doing blasters and uh, I love these two products I mean we all know the major rookie cards uh, in each of these sets and uh, the one that we're after right now is Tatis Jr the Grand Slam King uh, While well, the whole Padres are uh, Grand Slam Kings right now, and it is just so fun to see the parody in baseball uh, of everything that's going on. It's such a strange year we've had uh, on many fronts, and you got Tatis with his Grand Slam, you know, swinging on a 3 0 and the controversy. And I mean, come on, let's just play some sports, let's compete. If uh, we don't want to lose, let's uh, let's then play to win, right? Uh, but anyways, let's get into this. I think we're going to start off with the tried and true archives, my favorite product every year. Um, why do I like archives so much? I, I think it's the variety of cards, uh, the three different sets, like the, the different years that are representative represented and um just cool inserts i mean it's just a fun product it's it's mostly pc related uh product for me uh, i haven't hit anything major out of an archives yet some numbered cards i believe i hit a possibly hit an archives or sorry a uh, autograph out of archives before um but i mean i, I even doubt that uh so yeah, we'll see what we find here. I mean, I, I am due to, to find a big hit in Archives. I hope today's the day for not only myself, but everybody tuning in. And I have a good collection of these coins unopened and um, don't know what to do with them, but I'm collecting them as, as I open up these packs. One time, I will tell you... And I did a, uh, there. It, it's the videos on the channel, but um, I had purchased a blaster box from my LCS, local card shop. And one of the packs, one of the packs had uh, like box packing tape, red packing tape that went all the way around the pack. And so I, I got to the pack and I, and I opened it. And it looks like during manufacturing, the machine had tore the, the wrapper in half and they used tape to reseal it. It was the weirdest thing. I brought it to my local card shop and showed them and they were just baffled. They actually wanted to send it back to Tops, and I haven't actually followed up if they ever did anything with that. Um, but I mean, even though it wasn't their fault, uh, I was not bringing it into the store uh, to complain. I've just thought it'd be interesting building a relationship there at the local card shop. So I thought they'd be interested in knowing uh, and, and is as curious and intrigued as I am. Um, and uh, they were just so amazing. They they ended up uh, giving me a new blaster box. I did not ask for that. I actually tried to uh, uh, to turn it down, but they said they insisted. And um, so, of course, who am I to uh, come in between that that kind gesture? So, um, you know, that was an interesting uh, moment. But you know what? All the cards were in there. There was no, it wasn't opened malicely. People weren't searching the products. Uh, it's very tough to do that at the, at the local card shop. But anyways, hey, hey, my becoming favorite player in the game, Trevor Bauer. I love, um, I mean, not only is he a great pitcher and a great player, but uh, he just has a lot of character. He's got a lot of personality and he's a lot of fun to watch. So um, Trevor Bauer. So here's what the backs look like. And these ones here, if I can just take a quick second, let's actually look at the odds here. Let me give you those odds to take a quick look at. So we have 1958, 
we have 1975 and then 1993 cards. So I believe these ones here are the 58s. And I've noticed, if you haven't noticed, that I don't know if the cards are printed like this to make them look dirty, but a lot of the cards have like dirt marks on them. Um, I believe it's meant to be like that, to give it that old school kind of feel. But it's very bubblegum card-esque. And as always, short prints can be determined uh, for the most part with those last two digits at the bottom. 5-3 is a base card. You'll see here it is also 5-3 on there, which means these are just base. These aren't short prints. We have a Josh Hader. Here are the 1975 cards. Jameson Talon. Here's the back of these. Very retro. The short print code we'll be keeping an eye on. There it's 58. That's a base. Those last two digits at the bottom there. So this is a base card. And for numbered cards and parallels, variations and such, on the 75 cards, you'll see this white border. So this white border will be purple, silver, anything other than white. And chances are it's a numbered card or at the very least a short print variation. Okay, so here we got Chris Shaw, rookie. Hey, Pete Alonzo, polar bear, one of the guys we're looking for uh, in rookies. And there you have it. We'll put him aside uh, into the good pile. Let's just call it a good pile. We have Matt Chapman. This is our 1993 tops uh, reprints. And of course, the rookie of that season is uh, Derek Jeter. Uh, but of course, these are all going to be modern players on these cards. And Carlos Martinez is the last one. And the base card at the bottom there is 64. So anything other than 64 will be a short print, unless it's an insert. Inserts have their own coding on the back. Don't believe inserts come in short prints. They are sort of short print as it is. Uh, will Myers. Josh or Jose Arena. And when I flip it over, I'm just doing a quick check for any type of serial number. Castellano. Andy Petite. Please forgive me for mispronouncing his name there. Steve Dugar. I tend to get Steve Dugar rookie cards in this set quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Zach Cozart. Robin Roberts. So let me see here. That's a 64, so that's a base. And then a uh, Honus Wagner. So obviously they do it. That is such a beautiful card. Wow, that is, you know, a, a photo does uh, say a thousand words. Um, yeah, what a cool looking card. I have a section, I have a, a collection of my favorite sports card photos. Like just which sports cards I find have the coolest photos. And this one's going to go to that collection. Um, so I did say that it's all modern players. Obviously, that's not true. We do have some Hall of Famers and and uh, vets that will show up on these cards. All right. So that was pack number two. There are seven packs and uh, eight trading cards per pack. In this blaster, Schwarber. D. Gordon. Hey, hey, Keston here, a rookie. There we go. Another banger we're looking for. Jacob DeGrom, short haired Jacob. Richie Ashburn. Eloy, future stars. Wow, this is such a great box so far. All right. Rowdy Telez with the Blue Jays. My man, Blue Jays are killing it right now. What is that? Six, seven straight wins, six straight wins. I'm going to put him in my uh, good pile. We have a Randy Johnson. I don't think I, I might, to, to make a complete set, I believe I had to purchase uh, this card as a single. Um, what a cool card. I don't think I've pulled this one on its own before. Just in a personal rip. I like that. 
Goldsmith, Goldschmidt, sorry, Andrew Benatendi, Ichiro, 2001 to 18 archives insert, Christian Stewart rookie, Fergie Jenkins, and Chris Davis. Ted Williams, that's a nice oldie. Red Schwenstainst, George Springer, Jesse Winker, Zach Grinke. <gasps> we pulled an auto of Steve Sachs. Are you kidding me? What? On card auto of Steve Sachs. Look at that, everybody. Oh, my word. <gasps> Wow, centering is great. Wow, what are the chances out of a blaster? Let's take a look at those odds. So this here is an Archives fan favorite certified auto. All right, we're gonna keep this on screen while I take a quick look. Autograph. Uh, where are we here? Top signature omission. You know, it doesn't really say fan favorite auto. Uh, it just says autograph one in 40,000. And it says autograph one in 2100. So anyways, uh, not common, um, it's not numbered, but we are going to get a sleeve and I'm going to look up what the value of this card is and hopefully it'll pop up on the screen right here. Let's get a top loader ready for this one. So I was telling you, man, we were due, we were due and this was the box and look at this. Steve Sachs on card auto. Wow. What a hit. Love it. Okay. I think these were the last two cards I was looking at, and they have absolutely no value to me after pulling that Steve Sachs, so we'll just skip that. Please forgive the length of the video. I was uh, needing to take some time to soak in that auto. Sterling Marte, Guzman, Eniel de la Santos, rookie, Al Kaleen, Bryce Harper, Lords Guriel Jr., who is an incredible outfielder for the Jays. Jake Lamb and Monte Irvin. Last pack. Wow. It's going to be hard to beat that. It's going to be hard to beat that. There needs to be an on card auto out of that 2019 uh, Tops update series to beat that, in my opinion. Javier Baez. Another Javier Baez Sports Magazine. So I think these are 1 in 20. So they're not uh, not overly common. It's a nice insert. So there you have it. Let's uh, do a quick values recap. Top five. So we have a Steve Sachs. We have an Alonzo. We have a Keston. We have an Eloy. And I will put Telez here. Wow. Can't believe that. Okay. 2019 update. You have big shoes to fill, my friend. Let's find out if you can. Okay, so in here we have 99 cards. Holy moly. That is a lot of cards. 
Seven packs plus one exclusive 150 years of professional baseball commemorative patch card. Here are the odds. And two perennial all-stars cards guaranteed. All right. There's our exclusive pack. Okay. Let's just turn and burn these packs so we can get through this video quick. I have an Acuna on the back. Duplantier. Jason Martin. Garcia Leary, Zach Plasak, Tommy Listella, Muncie, Walker. We have a card that's backwards. Who knows what it is? Garrett Cole, Josh Mailer. Short print. Okay, I didn't realize that Topps uh, Update last year um, did their short prints backwards. I thought it was only this year. Oh no, it's not a short print. What's the deal with this card then? Josh Naylor. Anybody know? Anybody know why a card would be backwards? I've actually had cards put in backwards in 2020 tops when they're supposed to be short prints, but they, they weren't short prints. They were just base cards. All right, Nick Anderson, Trevor Story, David Dahl, and Acuna All-Star card. So that one can go in the cool pile. Just checking out these backs for any type of numbered cards. All right, nothing. Next up. Ah, <laughs> Steve Sachs. Wow. Okay, we got a gold card coming up. Of Jordan Luplow. One, uh, 1,192 out of 2019. So we'll put that one in the cool pile. D. Gordon, the family business. Insert. Sanchez, Bregman, BD. And that's it. Okay, we got a rookie combos of Jake Knoll and James Bork. I don't see these all that common. Okay, we got a Jeff McNeil, 150 years gold stamp rookie all-star game. That is a mouthful. You don't normally see rookie card, all-star game emblem, 150 year gold stamp on the same card. Uh, it's not numbered, unfortunately, but we'll put that one in the cool pile because we may need all the cool card potentials just to get five out of this. So in this in the, the update series, if there are any new rookies that have come on board uh, with their teams since series one and two of tops, then of course their base rookies will be out of this product. But for the most part, you'll find uh, the variation rookie cards like this uh, Vladimir Home Run Derby card, that's from update last year. Uh, let's see here. We have another one as rookie debut. We have a whole ton of different Pete Alonso variation rookie cards. Uh, so this is all out of update. You have uh, Eloy. This is his debut rookie. We got some Hira and Biggios. So there are definitely lots of rookie cards in this product. All the rookie cards of last year are going to be in update. Um, however, they're not all base rookies. They're not. That doesn't mean that they have the same value to those rookie cards as their flagship rookies would. So this is a cool card here. This is a Walker Bueller All-Star Game Gold Cup card. So his rookie season was obviously in 2018. Okay, so this is one of two uh, exclusive perennial All-Star All -Star cards, and this one is with Nolan Arenado. So here's a Carter Keyboom, rookie debut. Three 
three packs left, and then we'll get into that 150-year professional baseball commemorative patch card. And sometimes those cards are numbered. Sometimes they're autoed. It's extremely rare. We got Brennan Rogers. This is base rookie. That's nice. Austin Riley, rookie debut. Andrew McCutcheon. He's got a sh uh, very famous short print in 2020 tops. I don't know what the market is like on that card now. Here's a Michael Chavez rookie debut. Um, but that short print was definitely the chase card when uh, Series 2 came out this year. Nate Lau rookie, Turnbull rookie. So Willie, St oh we have a we have a pink Mother's Day. It looks like. Um, I went through these already. Yeah. Carter Keyboom rookie. So this is base rookie. And then we have a Mother's Day of a Padre. Oh, a Pirate, sorry. Jason Martin with the Pirates. Numbered out of 50. 40 out of 50. Nice card. All right, last pack. Oh, that one had a little tiny tear in it. Two punctures, one there and one right there. So this must have been probably during packaging. Maybe the teeth of the roller caught it or something. But makes it nice and easy to open up as long as there's no damage to the card. Okay, we have a... Oh, here's Keston here as rookie. That's his base rookie. That's nice. Hey, there is the man, Joe Kelly. Love it. Trevor Bauer was the league threatened to kick, a, uh, to boot him out of the game. I don't know if they meant for good or what, but uh, he he had some custom cleats made. I'm sure you guys all know this already, but uh, Trevor Bauer had some custom cleats made that said uh, free Joe Kelly uh, on the side. And then another thing about Joe Kelly on the other cleat on the opposite side. And the, the league said, you wear those and you're out. So he never wore them. He's going to donate them, I believe, um, to charity or some type of uh, cause. But uh, he's definitely a uh, uh, a hero in my books. Uh, it was just awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. I digress. Let's move on here. So we have a Jerickson Profar. Never heard of him. Forgive me if he is a known player. Lindor All-Star Game, Gutierrez, Acuna Gold Cup, home run. Okay, there you go. So that was 2019 Tops Update. We're going to open up this and then we'll quickly review the top five cards. It is a Frank Robinson. Oh, this one's numbered, see? That is not common. So we got a six, uh, uh, Frank Robinson numbered. That is beautiful. Look at that 150 year gold stamp. So we, man, this was a great rip. That's a good Saturday, everybody. So I think we'll put this one number one. Let's get these shifted down here slightly. So that is a nice uh, Frank Robinson. Let's find four more cards that we can put here. So I would say I mean those debut cards don't hold a lot of value unless of course it is a major player like an Acuna rookie debut card or Alonzo or Tatis. I mean, they tend to go still go for a few bucks, which is nice. We'll put this out of uh, 50, this uh, Mother's Day pink parallel. And then we will put a Keston Hira. 
a Carter Keyboom, and then a Brendan Rodgers. And I picked these last three cards here because they are their flagship base rookies, and the rest of these are uh, alternate rookie cards, as I call them. And, yep, I think that's it for me. So what are your thoughts? Uh, I'm definitely leaning towards uh, the huge winner of 2019 Archives, a very close second 2019 Tops update. Hope you enjoyed the break today. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and uh, sure appreciate all your support. So look in the description for the links and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hey!